Et come back to Father Solutions Academy. Father Solutions Academy, don't forget to share, subscribe our video. We have over 400 videos at this point. It means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice mathematics, physics, and chemistry. I'll be working on integration by substitution method. You know, people have been giving me a lot of questions on this, and uh, unfortunately, we have video on integration already, but it's like one hour video, and uh, everything is embedded in a one video. Let me try to bring out some things so that in, and hints so that I'll be able to have it, you know, at once. Now, when we talk about integration, I think uh, you should know what is integration. If you want to understand integration very well, please make sure you go to that video. It's one hour video or 30, uh, 40 something minute video. Try to be on it. It's the first video on our integration uh, playlist. Now, I have this type of, for instance, let me try to revise integration with you. When I have integral 1 all over root of x with respect of x, don't forget that this is very important with respect of x. Now, I think with that video, you will understand. How do I do this? I need to apply apply the integration, you know, uh, in this, uh, this time around, like saying that s minus 1 all over 2 the x is at the same thing. This and the same thing, they are the same thing. Now, because I've told you earlier that l is root of x, same as x raised to power 1 all over 2. Now, if I have x raised to power minus 1 all over 2 is same as 1 divided by x raised to power 1 all over 2 which I am talking about this and this take note of that which it will be equals to 1 all over root of x please take note of that I'm just playing around indices please take note of that very important and I've told you that when you have to integrate integrate is just like um, I'm having 1 all over 2 plus 1 divided by what? Minus 1 plus 1 plus k. Please, because I've told you earlier that there are two branches of integration, definite integral and indefinite integral. Please take note of those things. Definite integral and indefinite integral. It means at this point, x raised to the power 1 all over 2 divided by 1 all over 2 plus k. My answer become 2x root plus k. That is my answer. That is my answer. Assuming there is a limit point here, A, B, I mean, sorry, B, A, I can answer that. What upper limit minus o lower limit, which this will not be. I think you can do that. You can share that on our video. That is for that. Now, let me try to go on another question for revision purpose also. For revision purpose. For instance, I have integral of 1 minus 1 all over x squared with respect of x. It's good to put bracket. For better understanding when i have something like this i can write this as y all over minus x raised to the power minus two bracket with x take note of this very very important do you know that i can also say that integral of one the x minus integral of x minus two the x i'm just revising integration with you now with this i can say that x this is integral of this x all over 1 minus x minus 1 plus 1 divided by minus 1 plus 1 plus k x this will be minus 1 it means plus uh, and x raised to power what minus 1 plus k my answer can be x plus 1 all over x plus k that is my answer please take note of this very well Take note of this very, very so. If I had been complaining that our writing is very small and uh, I need to work on it, sorry, I think you can see this very well. Now, let me now show, let me show one or two problems on integration, I mean, sub by substitution method. I think with this, you can understand the meaning, you know, my previous level, I mean, previous knowledge on that integration. Now, for instance, look at this very simple problem I have integral of 2x the x now integral of 2x cause 2x the x what i then need to do here i want to go on substitution solution to this problem solution what i will just need to do is that uh, i will say that integral of course 2x the x let u equals to 2x now that is the substitution i want you to understand here you know that is the word substitution can you say du will be equals to 2 dx 
Now, my dx will be equal to what? Um, the u all over 2. Now, I will now come back here, integral of what is my u? My u become 2x u. What is my dx become the u all over 2? Which I can easily say that 1 all over 2 integral of cos u du because it's a number. Number can move out of a of, of, I like if I have integral of a x the hex, the same thing as a integral of x the hex. Please take note of that. That is what I'm just trying to work around with there. Please. Okay. Now, at this point, if I'm to integrate a cos, cos as a trig function, which I'll be having sine u plus what? K. Now, what is my u? 1 all over 2. Sine, what is my u? Um, which is going to be what? 2x plus k. That is my answer. That is my. Can you see what is called substitution method now? Can you see what is called substitution method? Now, let me go a bit advanced. I think we, you will see something like this, plenty of them in our video of that uh, 45 minutes. For better understanding, please go to them and watch. And the one that has power also, try as much as possible to be on that video. It will really, really help you. It's 45 or 48, is it 48 or 51 minutes video? It's more, it's very, very comprehensive. Now, look at this question. Using the substitution u equals to 5 minus x squared. Evaluate integral of x divided by root of 5 minus x squared dx. Now, I want to work on this problem, solution to this problem. Now, look at this problem. You are told to use, you know, the question has helped you, you know, you don't need to think of what to do. Now, if I were you, I would just say that u equals to 5 minus x squared. Do you know that I can as well write this as, uh, okay, that's what I need there. I can answer that was my du will be equals to minus 2x dx, which my dx will be equals to du all over minus 2 x. That is, I just make the head the subject. Now, I will now come back to the problem, which is an integral of x my, divided by 5 minus x squared. The x will now be equals to integral of, what is my, I have my x divided by, this one becomes u, u. Is there any power raised to power? 1 all over 2 because I told you roots means 1 over 2 and um, du du all over 2x. Successfully this we cancel this it means I can say that 1 all over 2 is a constant value. It will be what? Integral of u raised to the power minus 1 all over 2 du. Now since I have this I can now move on by having you know, I cannot move up by having, you know, I 1 all over 2, u raised to the power minus 1 all over 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus k. That is that. Since I have that, I can now say that what? 1 all over 2, u raised to the power 1 all over 2 divided by 1 all over 2 and um, plus what? k. Now, since I have this, you know, when you have, uh, note this, please, note this, note this. When I have 1 all over A divided by B all over C, the same thing as 1 all over A multiplied by C all over B. Take note of that, please. When I'm multiplying, I will just switch over, you know, you know, you call it inverse, you know. Okay, take note of that. I can now say that um, 1 all over 2. 2 u 1 all over 2 plus k. This we cancel this. Now my answer become u raised to power 1 all over 2 plus k. And um, 
at this point, I will have root of you. You know that what is our you? It's time to put back that you. Now, you will now be equal to my you is this. It means I'm talking about five minus x squared bracket of one all over two plus k plus k. That is my answer. That is my answer. Can you see? It's very, very simple to handle. What you don't need to do, follow up wherever you are doing. Don't, you know, don't be carried away and uh, you, you get it. You can also write this as root of 5 minus x squared plus k. That is the answer. Anyone you want to feel like putting. Now, let's, before we end this part, let me try to show another example, you know, so that I will be able to have it more. Okay, look at this problem. We still have time. Let's try to, I will give one more after this for better understanding. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody has F us to U equals to this, which is very nice. And I'm very happy for that. Now, because of that, I think the problem will be very simple for us to handle. Now, we are told that U equals to what? 1 plus X squared. Since I know that, I will now move on by having the u will be equals to 2x dx, don't forget, which is my dx, will be equals to all over what? 2x. Take it on that. Now, don't forget I'm substituting uh, to that. It means I'll be having integral of 5x divided by, what is my u? This is my u. It means u raised to power 3 all over 2. What is my dx? du divided by 2x. Successfully, this will cancel itself. Now, it means 5 all over 2 is constant. Integral of u raised to the power minus 3 all over 2 du. Because of this is what? I've told you that 1 all over x is taken as x raised to the power minus 1. Take note of those things. They are very, very important. At this point, I think you can now integrate without, you know, any problem, any issue. Now, how do I integrate? I think uh, I'm talking about the uh, respect of you. Please, take note of that. When you are substituting, no x must be here again. If there is, there will be a problem, you know. Take note of that. It means solution cannot go. I will give you some case now, which it will, um, it will illustrate that. Now, it means you have to be mindful of what you are substituting on, you know, for you to have it in perfect. Now, the next thing I want to do now is that I want to integrate 5 all over 3. I mean, 5 all over 2, which uh, I'm having here, and uh, u raised to power minus 3 all over 2 plus 1 divided by minus 3 all over 2 plus 1 and plus k because it's an indefinite integral there is no limit here assuming there is limit i think uh, you can handle that without issue now this one will be four 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 and um i'll be having two it means i'll be having um five all over two u raised to power one all over two divided by one all over two which plus k now, my answer will now be 5 all over 2, 2 u raised to power 1 all over 2 plus k. Because this will, you know, this will cancel this. My answer will become 5 u. What is my u? This is my u. This is my bracket of 1 plus x squared, bracket of 1 all over 2, which is that 1 over 2 plus k. That is my answer. That is my answer. That is all. That is my answer. Now, is there a minus? Oh, 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 oh. There should be a minus. Sorry. There should be a minus. Sorry. Minus is here. Minus is here. Sorry about that. I made a mistake of minus. I didn't mind my minus. There will be a minus there. It means here will be minus also. Since that is the minus, uh, there is minus there, which is going to be. Um, Yes, it means I can reduce by having minus minus five 
um, divided by 1 plus x squared bracket of 1 all over 2. That minus make it to go down plus k. I can as well write it as minus 5 all divided by root of 1 plus x squared plus k. Anyhow you want to do it. That is what uh, this, I just added minus to it because of this and uh, to be minus 1, which is minus 1 which you know. That is all about that. Now, lastly, let me try to show you another case that can be very funny if you are not substituting very well. Okay. Look at this problem. Oh, look at this problem. I have this problem. Now, look at this problem. This one is more sensitive and very, you have to be very careful. You can see in the denominator we have x squared plus 2x and the integral of uh, which is divided by root of 1 plus x with respect of x. Now, at this point, you have to calm down, you have to understand what you are doing, unless there will be a problem. If I were you, just have it solution like this. Now, I will just say let u equals to root of 1 plus x. Yes. Now, it means I can easily say that u squared equals to 1 plus x. 2u du equals to what? The x. Take note of that. And um, what is my du and the x? And also, I can as well say that what? My x equals to u squared minus 1. Please take note of that very well. Now, I'm thinking of, I'm looking at a way to make things, you know, happen here, you know, to subtract very well there. I can answer that integral of x squared plus 2x divided by root of 1 plus x dx. Now, I can now successfully um, talk to it. Now, what is my s? That x squared, no. It means my s is equal to this. It means I'm talking about u squared minus 1, bracket of squared, which is for this. I'm talking for this now. Plus 2, what is my x? Bracket of u squared minus 1. What else divided by? This becomes u. It's divided by u. What is my dx? My dx is equal to what? 2u du with integral. Now, can you see that there is no s Again, at this point, you know, that is when, that is what you need to check very well. So, actually, this will cancel this. No problem. Now, can I move on again? Don't forget that uh, this and this, you must understand that there is a back bracket there. It means I can easily say that 2 with integral of u squared minus 1, bracket of u, I mean 2 plus 2 bracket of u squared minus 1. Is there any division anymore? No division divided by the u. Now, which is, I must to put my bracket, the upper bracket there. Now, since I have that, since I have that, I can now say that uh, if I should open bracket, I think it will be fine for me to open bracket. Yes, it means I'll be having u squared I'll be having um, u squared, I'll be having, no, u raised to power 4, sorry, u raised to power 4, and I'll be having minus 2u squared and plus, plus, uh, plus, it will be plus 1, which is plus 1, and also plus 2u squared minus 2. All into bracket of integral is chain with respect of u. This we cancel this. This and this become one. It means integral of u raised to power four minus one with respect of the u, which I will be having u raised to power five all in five minus u plus k. Now that is my answer. Now what is my u? My u is given from. Uh, my u, what is my u? 
this is my you. Now, I can now say that what? Um, root of 1 plus x, this must cover everything, bracket of 5 divided by 5 plus, what is my, this is my u, root of 1 plus x plus k. Now, I can now easily say, you know, in form of power, like having it in form of 1 plus x bracket of 5 all over 2 divided by 5 plus uh, 1 plus x bracket of 1 all over 2 plus k. That is my final answer. That is my final answer. I think um, by so doing that, I think we have done it well. But, uh, nothing again you need to work on like that. That is all. That is all. Okay, because of time, should I put more example on this? Okay, I still have time. Okay, permit me to give more one more example, last example that will really help. You know, so you can be able to understand by substitution in very, I mean, very, very, very well. Okay? Be able to understand integral by substitution very, very well. Now, before I end this class, I love. Let us please let us play around with this question. Let us see. In the next video, I will work on the integral on trigonometric functions. So that you'll be able to understand that also. It's a very common part of. Now look at this integral of x plus three divided by root of two x plus four. Solution to this problem. Let's see what we do here. Let u equals to what? Uh, root of 2x plus 4. Very, very important. It means I can easily say that u squared equals to 2x plus 4. I can also say that what? Uh, x can be equals to u squared plus minus 4 divided by 2. That is my x. That is what I want you to learn there because of this. That is what I want you to learn there. Now, I think I have my u. I have my x. And I have my u squared. Now, at uh, this point, I can easily say that what? Here, I can say that 2 u du equals to 2 the x. Successfully, 2 will cancel 2. Now, the x, the s become what? Uh, the x become u du. Now, I think I have everything that I need to substitute for now. Now, I can now move on by having integral of x plus 3 divided by root of x plus 4 with respect of x cannot be equal to uh, integral of, sorry, let me put it here, cannot be equal to integral, integral, what is my x? My x is this, it means u squared minus 4 divided by 2 plus 3 divided by u become that which is going to be u with respect of what u du can you see can you see that at this point there is no number or i mean there is no variable x anymore because of there is no variable, it can continue. But if there is variable head, the variable head, you need to check yourself, restart again because there is a problem, there is a fire on the mountain. That is the meaning. Now, at this point, this we cancel this without no stress. Now I can answer that integral of u squared minus four plus six divided by two, which is with the u. Take note of that. Let me put the brackets for you to understand what I'm doing there. It means I can say that integral of u squared um, plus 2 divided by 2 du, which I can easily say that what? 1 all over 2 integral of what? u squared plus 2 du. Now, 1 all over 2, I have u raised by 3 all over 3 plus 2u plus k is indefinite integral now i can now successfully please make sure you put your brackets here because that will belong to that now what is my u my u is given as uh my uh u is given as this 
Now, it's time to substitute. It means I'll be talking about 1 all over 2, u, which is going to be what? Root of 2x plus 4, bracket of 3, divided by 3. Don't forget the bracket, plus 2 root of 2x plus 4, what else? Plus 3. Okay, that is that. Now, I can now move on by having, if I want to turn it to power form 1 all over 2, at this point, my answer is already, you know, have my answer already, which are top plus 4 bracket of 3 all over 2 is the roots divided by 3. Don't forget the roots. I mean, this power, this 2 is covering everything. Plus 2 and uh, 2x plus 4 bracket of 1 all over 2. Plus k. That is my answer. That is my answer. That is all. I can please let us be close. Let us close this because of these two. That is my answer. Don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. Don't forget to share our video. Subscribe. In the next video, I'll be working you on the um, uh, integration. You know, uh, what was the name of this thing? Trigonometry function. You know, you know, um, some problem on it. Uh, uh, trig function, you know, power form and so on and so forth. Don't forget to share, subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.